Hey guys, I hope you all are staying safe and doing okay. I've been working from home over the past couple of weeks and with more time on my hands, I had the chance to look back on my K-pop progress and wanted to share my transformation with you guys. So, if you want to see how I got from here to here, then stay tuned for the rest of this video and join me on my K-pop journey. My story began at the end of April 2019 when I was first introduced to K-pop. Back then, the only two groups I've really heard of were Blackpink and BTS, and that's it. <laughs> in my first K-pop video, I shared about how I used to be on a Bollywood dance team in college. And although Bollywood and K-pop were two very different dance styles, I hoped some of my Bollywood experience would translate to K-pop. So, with my newfound interest, I decided to set a very lofty goal that I was going to learn a full K-pop dance in a week. So over the course of that week, I challenged myself to learn Solo by Jenny, which has that famous line that sounds like she's cursing. <laughs> because I've never danced K-pop before, my progress was very slow. As the days went by, I was slowly getting worried. This practice video was taken two days before the shoot, and as you guys can see, my movements were extremely awkward and stiff. I was clearly not ready at all and was really freaking out. But with the time I had left, I worked my butt off and even learned the lyrics from my boyfriend. But when it rains, it pours. So on the day of filming, I actually got my period. Uh, this is probably TMI, sorry guys. So while smiling in front of the camera, deep down I was in a lot of pain and feeling extremely nervous. But to my surprise, my first ever K-pop dance cover turned out to be okay, probably because of the amazing cameraman. Solo was the easiest dance in my K-pop cover lineup, and I had a full week of free time saved up just to learn it. But now looking back, my movements were really stiff and I had zero facial expression whatsoever. But overall, I was extremely proud of myself for stepping out of my comfort zone and letting go of the initial fear. So right after filming solo, I was really excited to continue dancing. I asked you guys on Instagram which cover I should do, and most of you said kill this love. So with that, I began learning the dance, and actually made a lot of progress on the first day. But as the days went by, my progress kept on slowing down, and this was filmed the day before I was supposed to film the video, and I was clearly not ready at all. This was also during the time when a lot of people were jumping on the trend and filming the same dance cover, and my confidence really took a hit after watching all those perfectly executed covers. Even though I was smiling here, I was actually feeling really disappointed in myself. I was so scared that people would dislike my cover and judge me because my dance is not good enough, so I never ended up filming the dance. After giving myself a short break, I decided to not let my efforts go to waste. Instead of making a full dance cover, I decided to combine my passion for dance and fashion into one of my most creative videos on my channel. This took weeks of planning, then a full week of practicing, filming, and editing, but it turned out to be a huge success. <laughs> That summer, I also made the crazy decision to move to Chicago. And my apartment was still really messy with suitcases unpacked and just things everywhere when I was filming this cover. 
But even with the move and starting a new job, I somehow still found the time to practice and film this. This dance was so much harder than my previous two covers, and it was such a challenge trying to get the moves right. But because I messed up so much, we had to film this over 10 times, and you can see the sun is so low by the time we finish filming. Even though I was really stressed, I also had a lot of fun and can always have this video to look back on my K-pop journey. Yeah. Oh, and here is the best dance move. <laughs> You know in K-pop, those sexy hair flips that all the idols just casually throw around? Well, I thought I could do that too until I actually tried. Oh boy, I was very wrong. My initial attempts were a disaster and I basically looked like that girl who crossed out of a TV in that horror movie. But I didn't give up there. Over the next month, I spent countless hours practicing flipping hair. I got so desperate and even paid $30 for a haircut just to get layers around my face because I thought this would help me get the flips right. Well, somehow I was right. Because on the 25th day, I filmed this cover and although it's not perfect, my hair flips were so much better than I could have ever imagined. Because YouTube was becoming more and more competitive by the day, I felt very pressured to film and post more. Even though I was working full time, I thought I could do it if I just worked hard enough. Although I was feeling extremely burnt out, I practiced every single day after work and managed to film Flower Shower during my Thanksgiving break. This cover was different from my other videos because I learned both the main and backup dancers moves. So basically creating a dance group by myself. You can tell that after a few months of dancing, I still struggled with smoothing out my movements and couldn't really get those hard parts right. I also wore heels in this dance cover, and it was such a challenge trying to stay balanced and not break a leg. Maybe it was because I pushed myself too hard, but I got a cold soon after filming that dance. So naturally, instead of taking a break to rest, I thought, well, if I practiced even harder, I can still film and post the dance on schedule. And naturally, I chose the hardest dance cover I've ever done, which is Obsession by EXO. Well, my predictions somehow turned out to be true because I worked my butt off and was somehow able to complete the video on time. But little did I know, at the time of filming, because of the intense stress placed on my body, I had developed a fever close to 100 degrees, and maybe that's why I seemed so serious in the dance cover, because I was literally dying. It looks like I have a slight fever. Um, I think maybe I pushed myself too hard today. Um, I just really didn't want to push it off, but I think I should have done that maybe. Um, so it was because of this and maybe missing work for a few days the week after. It finally hit me that I was burning out and needed a serious break. So with that realization, we come to the last part of this video, which is saving the best dance for last. You're probably wondering how that transition makes any sense and it's because I was able to take care of myself better, taking proper breaks when I felt tired, I was more focused and a lot more productive when I did start practicing again. This time my birthday was coming up and I planned a trip to LA to escape the Chicago winter. So naturally, now with every trip I take, I see it as an opportunity to film more YouTube videos. And I saved the perfect dance for this. 
I worked so hard the week leading up to my trip. I was learning the lyrics and watching tutorials on the bus to and back from work, and was practicing all night every day for that entire week. I even went out of my way to rent a small studio that costed fifteen dollars an hour, just so I can practice in front of a giant mirror. And on my flight to LA, I was still practicing in my seat and probably freaked out some of the other passengers. But I'm really happy to say that all the hard work paid off. And although this dance is still not perfect, it's honestly the best one I've done. And I was crying when I watched the recordings because of all the challenges I faced to get this far and the work I put in to make this happen. With that said, this has been my K-pop transformation over the past nine months. You can be the cream on the Sunday, the whip on the finger bay. I like all the sweeter things as long as you're here with me. You can be the cream. Thank you guys so much for watching and check out this video to see how everything started. And please consider subscribing to my channel for more future videos. I would love to have you on my YouTube journey and I will see you guys next time. Peace!